we we're recording again. Yeah. No, yeah. Right. We can hear the beat, please, but we don't get told. Please <laughs> refrain from swearing. <laughs> yeah, this is the big of a house. <laughs> um, so as good as, one. Yeah. As good as anywhere to start the control panel. So it's very simple, straightforward. As it is at the minute, you can see it's shut off. You can press any one of the buttons on there and it will engage the panel. So I'll just hit power. You can see now it's lit up. We've got mains power and we've got your leisure battery. We're all working together. So that's where the power to the van's coming from at the minute. If your car was connected, that would flash up green as well. Okay. The and I assume then if I un if you unplug the mains now, just, just the middle light exactly would, go, that, would yeah. be on. Just right. the leisure battery will show. Okay. What you can do is view your levels as well. So this is what I was saying to you about your fresh water tank before. So that's where you check the, what the level of your water tank is. Okay. So that will always, if um, you're on any sort of, if say you're between three quarters and full, it'll show as full because the sensors are at the naught at the naught twenty five, fifty, and seventy five and hundred marker. Right. And all the light switches. Um, so that's how it is at the minute. It's either bang on quarter or somewhere really. between quarter and empty at the moment. Um, I'll show you, and when we go through the water, I'll show you how to drain it all down anyway. Okay. So it's completely empty. The other one is your leisure battery checker. Now, as it is, because mains is going through it, it will give it that extra oomph. So it's going to be showing 14 volts as it is now. Okay. Um, if you were just on leisure battery, it would probably show 12 or 12, 12 and a half 13, volts, yeah, yeah. Somewhere, something like that. Okay. And then obviously once it drops to 11 and a half, goes into amber, that's when you need to make sure either your charger's on. Um, charger should be on all the time anyway. Or take it off the caravan and put it on charge. Okay. After that? Yeah. 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 And then obviously the vehicle battery there. Vehicle battery if, will just, when your car's connected, it'll just show. It'll, it'll show exactly. Yeah. Could you answer me a question? Why is the um, um, smoke alarm vertical as opposed to horizontal? It's a good question. And I don't know the answer. That's just how they fit them. Okay. Yeah. They tend to just fit them wherever they wherever they can put them. Hmm. Yeah. Can you turn my light off? That one? Yeah. Cheers. Yeah. <laughs> Get straight in your eye. This is the panel that you'll probably want, that you'll um, be using more often, and that's for the heating. And I might, and we've already worked out that the heat, this different heating system to what you've already had. Um, oh, I was getting used yeah. to the old heating system. This, is be fun. <laughs> this one's quite straightforward. It's all right. So to turn and turn it on, all you do, just press the button. You have the green light there. If it stay, if that light stays green. It's good because it means that it's, you've got that there's no fault with the system. To make the screen come on, just tap it. So as it is there now, you've got it's showing us that the internal temperature is 27 and a half degrees, and that we've got mains power available for the heating. To set the heating, all you do is go into menu, and it's like your thermostat at home. All you do, you set your on-off temperature as to when you want the heating to come on. Um, just to show you how it comes on. I'll ramp that right up. I'll ramp that right up. Holding it doesn't make any blind bit of difference. So you have to tap it. You can't yeah, just you, like, you can't. You can't just hold it hold and it. let it go. Yeah. No. Um, so I've turned it on to thirty degrees. Press menu to go back. Now you can see that touch the screen. The circulation pumps come on. So that's allowing all the fluid in the Alder tank to basically go around the caravan. So like in the previous van, we don't need to wait for the water to go through to the, no. to the tank. No, you don't have to. You can, the heating it's, will just work straight away. It's completely um, separate from, yeah. from the water. Exactly. Right. You, can okay. you, you can use your heating and your hot water both simultaneously. Right. Whereas you can't, you, you, and you can also use your gas and electric together. Whereas before, you would have had to use one or the other. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Okay. The next one, let's go to menu. I'll turn that heating off because Thank we don't need it. Is that what I can hear? Just bu yeah, the buzzing. So exactly, my tinnitus yeah. going then. There you go, you've heard it go off now. So the next one you've got is your hot water. So as it is the heart, the triangle half coloured in, that's just on normal mode. So that's just allowing the boiler just to do its job, get the water hot, to be honest, it's been connected in here for about nearly an hour now, so the water should be nice and hot. What you've also got is, do you use the shower in the caravan at all? I have done. So if you're going to use it, obviously you don't want a cold shower. If you press the D plus button and 
just leaving it too long. And ramp it right up so the triangle's fully coloured in. That will put the water into boost mode. So for half an hour, the boiler will completely focus on hot water and shut the heating off. Then, once the half an hour is up, it will automatically revert back to normal. So it's very handy. Make sure you've got plenty of hot water ready for the ready for your shower. And obviously, we can only do that if we've got the the aquarol attached or the water. It doesn't need, in the tank. Yeah, it doesn't need. I mean, as long as it's been feeding through the whole time anyway, because right. um, you don't have to do anything with it. The boiler itself warms up through the fluid that's in there, and as the water's passing through the system, it just obviously does all its jobs for so you is anyway. It, is it the same as um, combi boiler? Essentially, but be but better. It's more it's more similar to your heating system at home. Yeah, combi boiler. Yeah, yeah, basically. Yeah. So, once you've done that, set it all how you want it. I'd say leave, even leaving it in normal mode is going to give you is going to be fine for you anyway. To be perfectly honest. So, how do we distinguish between the heating at the top there? Yeah. Being on gas or electric. That's these buttons below it. So you've got your lightning bolt there. I'll just turn it off. So as it is at the minute, I've just got electric on. Sorry, electric off and gas on. If I press the plus button, that allows one kilowatt of electric to help with the help with the boiler. Press it again, it allows two kilowatts or three kilowatts. If you want in this country, one or two kilowatts is pretty decent. If you were holidaying through winter, then you probably want to maybe consider three kilowatts because the extra bit of boost. Then you can see below, I've got gas turned on as well. So you can turn the gas off and just. If you just, wanted to. Just, just purely have it running on, on the electric. The only problem with doing that on this system is that it would be like trying to fill a bath with a kettle. If you were to just try using hot water off electric only, it would take quite a while to warm up. Because it's trying to do the heating and the hot water at the same time. Right. Um, so the best thing to do mm. is chuck your gas on. It doesn't use much gas. Does it not? Really. Because right. what it does is the gas brings it up to temperature. Once it's at temperature, it shuts off and the electric takes over. So it's a very economical system, and to be honest, if you're using two kilowatts of electric, it's straightforward. Yeah, we had problems with the the heating system on the Luna, didn't we? Yeah, where we were. We were thick. <laughs> you we were, we were trying to get the fire to work, and it was just like it was yeah. either working really hot, yeah. or just like yeah, nothing at absolutely. all. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the the main different the main difference is with this one, you've got, you haven't got a fire, all you've got is radiators and a bo and a boiler, which. Is only controlled through here. You can't. There's nothing. No other controls in the caravan that are, that control it. So you can't get confused by what's what. It's all straight there in front of you. Yeah. I mean, watching what I'm doing now and me talking to you about it, straight away it can be a bit daunting. But once you're on site, messing with it, it just you get used to it. And there's no fan blowers or anything like no that. No fan it's, blowers. It's purely it's got radiators. Purely radiators. Behind, yeah, behind the sofas, down the back of the bed, behind the bed, and in the bathroom. So we've got towel rail. Yeah, we've got yeah. towel rail yeah. in the bathroom. Yeah. So That's what sold it. Yeah. You'll be, you'll be amazed how hot they get. <laughs> it, it, uh, how, how quick will it get to, to a, a decent I think, temperature? They, I think they worked out. I don't know how true it is or not, but I was told they had a caravan at minus five and got it up to 25 degrees in 45 minutes with this system. I'm not going anywhere that's minus five. That'd be in a... In a, a chamber oh yeah the closed conditions and all sorts um but it really is more straightforward than you think it's just getting it's just getting used to it so it literally is hit the screen so the little green lights on yeah hit the screen okay. hit the menu i want i want it to be a little bit hotter you almost have to get your finger perfectly on the mark and that's it yeah then if you just press me if you press menu What's this button here? Okay. That's got all your different set timer settings and all sorts in it. Um, to be perfectly honest, here you go. So at the minute, Sounds that's all right. So at the minute, the internal temperature is twenty-eight degrees. That's good. We've got five people sitting in here, sitting in the van. It's quite warm already, anyway. So if this drops below twenty-four degrees now, the heating will kick in. Is that because I set it at twenty-four? Exactly that. Yeah. Right. Okay. Right. And you say there's timers on it as well, so we can have... To be honest, they're next to useless. Because every time you take mains power away from 
the caravan or take power away from the caravan altogether, it will the timer reverts to zero because the clock goes back to midnight when you attach power back to it. Right. So you then got to go through and set the clock and everything again. And to be honest, you're better off leaving it like you would at home, just having a thermostat on and just letting it come on and on and off as you please. I mean, if you don't want the heating to come on while you're out, all you do is go in there and just press off and take that to off. And that will just turn all, that will just turn the whole lot off. Okay. So then like a comfortable temperature, if, it was, if we were sat in the van at night, probably about 19, 20 degrees. Uh, something like that, yeah. You can just set that at 19, 20. And if it drops below that, it will just fire up to warm the van back up to that temperature. It doesn't, it really doesn't take long at all. Are you happy with that? Well, yeah. Pay attention. <laughs> That's why we've got that. Yeah, exactly. the, only, the only pain in the backside with this panel is that uh, if you leave it long enough, it will just go to a black screen and you've got to tap the screen again and oh, go through it all. Yeah. But it saves, a, it saves it staring you in the face the whole time while you're sitting on the sofa. Yeah. yeah. Happy with that? Yep. It's, it's yeah. simpler than I thought. Oh, excuse me, it's simpler than I thought it would be. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like I've caught that one. <laughs>